Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Chris and today we got a Tekton tool haul. So let's tear into this and see what we got inside. So first here you can see we have the 55 piece quarter inch drive set, four millimeter up to 14 millimeter and six point. Now this is their new socket set and this comes in a very small package for the amount of sockets that you get. So if we take a look at this here, we get not only SAE from 530 seconds up to 9 16 we also get metric from four millimeter including the 4.5 millimeter and the 5.5 millimeter all the way up to 14 both in shallow and in deep we get the universal flex we get the three and the six inch extension as well as the nut driver and this also has the ability to turn into an extension so i really do like that feature on there and then this also features their new 90 tooth ratchet so it's very fine tooth and the mechanism in here is similar to the gear wrench mechanism or a husky mechanism and this is the quick release that's the only one that comes in this set so if you want to purchase a non quick release you do have to do that separately Purchased a Tecton shirt. So we got a medium black and red Tecton shirt. This is the one that's a little bit more exciting. So let's pull these little boxes out here. So just for reference, this is a, we'll open it up here, a 3 4 inch two half inch adapter. So there you can see the three fourths and there is the half inch. And this adapter is gonna be used for some future torque testing once we purchase the torque meter. Now these are the more exciting parts here. These are some of the parts that I don't necessarily already have. Now this one is gonna be the quarter inch drive, flex head, 90 tooth quick release ratchet from Tecton. So this one, it's not locking because they don't have that design, but you can see how it has that detent in there. So it has quite a few positions on it. The direction on the selector switch that you'd be used to for most USA made ratchets. This however is made in Taiwan. It's got a decent chrome finish on it. And it's actually really slim. It's similar to the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Pro for thickness. So we'll have to do a follow-up review later on to see how they hold up. Do some ratchet torque testing on these as well. Now I'll put all the part numbers down below in the description, as well as the links to some of the products. Now again, this is the 3 8 inch drive, bent handle, flex head. So again, this has that same flex detent style as the quarter inch ratchet. You can see there's no markings whatsoever on that head. It'll help get into some places that uh, you might not normally fit, especially without using a universal or even a swivel socket. 
So I'm pretty excited about that one. And I only have one other flex, flex head bent handle ratchet, so this can go nicely in my toolbox. This one, this is another neat one. I don't have one quite this long. This is a 3 8 inch drive, 18 inch ratchet. Now this is a non-flex, and this is one of the longest 3 8 inch drive ratchets that Tecton makes. Now again, this has got another really slim head ratchet on there. That's a very small pair head ratchet. I mean, you can see that it's just a little bit bigger than my thumb per se. So we can throw it down here on the mat and measure that for sure. So that is actually 18 right on the beginning of the anvil drive. And you can see that it's actually almost 18 and three fourths of an inch. 18, yep, 18 and three fourths of an inch. And again, just another bright chrome polish on there. I can't wait to do some testing on that once we get a new digital torque meter to see what some of the specs we can get out of this. The reason being is, is uh, Tekton produces some proof torque concepts on their website and it doesn't really say who tested them or how they were tested so I'm very interested to see how these perform in the next coming months and finally one of the last things I picked up was this stubby wrench holder and this is a metric holder going from 8 to 19 now the interesting thing about this is is if you guys have watched some of my other videos I did purchase one of the Napa Real Deal back in Q1, and I'm hoping that these gear wrench will fit in here. So we got 10, 11, We have the 19 here. This is one that I was worried wouldn't fit in there. It looks like we're going to be able to get all of these in this holder. We'll be able to free up a little bit of space in the toolbox. And also, if we need to take this with us anywhere, we'll be able to do that. Now, I did order an 8 millimeter. So we'll go ahead and put that. Now the difference between the Tecton ones and the gear wrench, the Tecton ones, as you can see here, they are six point. So go ahead and put that in the eight millimeter. And so I'm not the kind of guy that necessarily uses a nine millimeter. So I went ahead and ordered another 10 millimeter because I figured, ah, what the heck. The gear wrench one comes with a 12 point, and I figured I might as well get a six point. So we'll go ahead and put that extra 10 millimeter in there. Go ahead and fold that over. And see if you can see there, we now Saved about 50% of our space with this. So that one, definitely excited for that. It's gonna be a definite organizational piece as well as just able to take that with you wherever it goes. And that, that's junk that I don't have to have at work anymore. But some junk that you might like in your life is junk from work. If you want to go check out his channel, he's got a neat little channel. He's hit over a thousand subscribers, continues to grow. He works really hard on doing his reviews. And also 410 Auto Tech. He's been doing a lot lately. He's had a giveaway and he continues to work very hard and grow his channel. Tony's a good guy and I like his content. And finally, the maintenance man, Neil. You're crushing it. You're doing a great job. Continue to grow your channel. That being said, guys, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like something in this video, comment down below. I do try to read all my comments and respond back when I have time, and I appreciate you tuning in and checking out these tools. And as always, guys, work smarter, not harder. 
and I'll catch you in the next video.